Hey everyone. In this video, you will learn how to automate your LinkedIn posts using N8N and AI. Stick with me till the end, and you'll also learn how to send Telegram messages from N8N and trigger a LinkedIn post right from Telegram. First, let's add a schedule trigger in our N8N workflow. You can set the trigger to start at a specific time, daily, every few hours, or whatever schedule you want. Next, add a large language model chain node and give a prompt to the AI to generate facts. You can use the same prompt I use or something else based on your topic. Now specify your AI chat model on the LLM chain. I'm using the OpenAI chat model, but you can opt for another or your own self-hosted model using Olama. Now add the LinkedIn node to the output of the LLM chain. By the way, if you want to learn how to host your own LLM model locally, I've got a tutorial on it. Check out the link in the description and the pinned comment. Now to connect your LinkedIn account with credentials, follow this step. After your account is connected, wait for a few seconds for this error to disappear and your account name will show up in a dropdown. Now select your account name from the dropdown and your LinkedIn node is all set. Now that the LinkedIn account is connected, a basic workflow for generating topics and posting on LinkedIn is all set. Now drag the output from the LLM into the text field. You can also add some extra static text or a call to action, like follow for more, to make your post more engaging. Let's run the workflow and see if it works. All right, now let's head over to LinkedIn and check if the post went through. Yep, there it is. The new post is live on our LinkedIn account. Now let's take our workflow a step further by adding Telegram notifications. So every time a new post is published through N8N, you'll get instantly notified. To do that, we'll first need to create a Telegram bot and grab its access token. For that, head over to Telegram, search for Botfather, and start a chat with the bot. Now type slash new bot, then follow the prompts to give your bot a name and a unique username. Once that's done, Botfather will give you the access token. You'll need this to connect it with N8N. Now back in N8N, add a Telegram node and connect it to the output of the LinkedIn node. This way, once your post goes live, a Telegram message will be sent automatically. In the Telegram node, create new credentials, then paste the access token you got from Botfather. That's how N8N will connect to your bot. Now go back to your Telegram account, open saved messages and look at the URL in your browser. You'll find your chat ID there. Copy it and paste it into the Telegram node in N8N. Now write a static message that you want to appear in Telegram along with the LinkedIn post ID to confirm it was published successfully. All right, now let's go ahead and test this step to make sure the Telegram notification works as expected. Uh-oh, looks like there's an error. No worries, just head to your Telegram profile and set a username. That should sort it out. All right, let's test this step again and see if everything's working now. Hmm, same error again. Don't worry, after setting your username, it might take a few moments to start working. Just give it a little time and try again shortly. Now we're seeing a different error, and this one means we haven't started the bot yet. So let's head back to Telegram and start the bot by sending it a message. 
All right, let's test the telegram note step again and see if the message goes through this time. And yes, it worked. Let's check the telegram message to make sure everything looks good. Now, let's take things up a notch by adding a human in the loop step using telegram. So before the post goes to LinkedIn, you get a chance to review or approve it manually. Just like before, copy your chat ID into the new Telegram. Then, add a static message, something like new post for LinkedIn, and drag in the LLM output, so the full post shows up in the message. Now, change the approval type to Approve and Disapprove. You can also customize the button text if you want. All right, let's test this step and make sure the approval message shows up in Telegram as expected. Great, it's working just the way we want it. Now let's add an if condition in N8N to handle the response from Telegram so we can decide what happens when you approve or disapprove your post. If the approval is marked as true, we'll route the flow to the LinkedIn post note, so the post goes live only when you give the green light. And if the response is false, that is, the post is disapproved, we'll trigger another telegram note to send a follow-up message asking, do you want to generate another post instead of the rejected one? Just like before, set the approval type in this Telegram node to approve or disapprove, so you can choose whether to generate a new post or not. Now let's test the if node step and make sure it correctly routes the workflow based on your approval response. Now let's add another if node to handle the response from this Telegram message. This will check whether a new post should be generated or not. If the response is true, connect the true output of this if node back to the LLM chain at the beginning of the workflow. This way, a new post will be generated automatically. And for the false output, connect it to a do nothing node. This will simply end the workflow if no new post is needed. All right, now let's execute the entire workflow from the beginning and test it out, end to end. Let's see everything in action. Hmm, it looks like the LLM output isn't reaching the LinkedIn node. Now, the issue happened because I didn't update the LinkedIn node's text field after adding the if node. When the structure changes, you'll need to reselect or remap the LLM output in the text field so the data flows correctly. Let's test it out now. Great, it works perfectly. Now let's try the disapprove scenario to make sure that part of the workflow works as expected. No post should be published. And we should get the follow-up message on Telegram.
works just the way we planned. The disapproved path is fully functional, with the follow-up message and logic working exactly as expected. Now finally, to wrap up this tutorial, let's add a telegram trick so we can start the entire LinkedIn post workflow just by sending a message on Telegram. Next, let's add an edit fields node right after the Telegram trigger. This will extract the topic from the Telegram message and pass it along to the LLM chain to generate the post content. Now let's test the Telegram message trigger. That was the previous message. Now if we run the trigger again, it will wait for our new input and pass it to the edit fields node. Let's send an input to generate a post about N8N. As you can see, we now have the input from Telegram in our edit fields node. Now let's drag in the message field from Telegram trigger into the topic field. Add the following to return null if no topic was included in the slash post message. If the topic is null, the LLM chain will generate a post on a random topic. But if a topic is provided, it'll use that to create a post specifically around it. This makes the workflow flexible. You can let the AI choose a topic or guide it with your own. Now let's update the prompt field to improve the results, whether a topic is provided or not. I've included the prompt expression and all the other expressions used in this workflow in a text file linked in the description below. Now let's test the edit fields node. Great, now we've got a dynamic prompt that adapts based on whether a topic is provided or not, giving us relevant, high-quality posts either way. All right, let's make this workflow active and test the full Telegram triggered flow from start to finish, just to make sure everything's working smoothly. Great, it works. Pretty cool, isn't it? Now let's try again without a topic. With this workflow in place, you'll be able to automate LinkedIn posts, review content before it goes live, and control everything right from Telegram, saving you tons of time and making your content strategy way more efficient. You can also add AI image generation in this. And this is just the beginning. I've got more powerful N8N workflows and coding tricks coming up. So make sure to subscribe and check out the playlist linked right here for even more automation tutorials.